Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending the, uh, February the 25th, 2022 and uh, the Russian invasion of Ukraine, obviously the story of the wig driving to Marcus, but what it actually ended up doing uh, very much uh, uh, crashing the markets because of spiked volatility early on in the week and then as the week progressed uh, analysts started digesting information and figuring out, hey, maybe uh, this is going to make the Fed back off of those uh, multiple increases. So maybe not not six, seven, eight increases in, in rates, uh, but and maybe not the magnitude of the rate increase. Maybe not that 50 uh, basis point uh, increase uh, next uh, couple of weeks. Maybe that's going to trail back down to 25 basis points. Uh, meanwhile, uh, and so I, to finish that thought, then the markets rallied into the end. So right now, you've got uh, all the major indexes trying to get back up above support. They did bounce pretty nicely. Uh, they're using uh, their long-term moving averages as resistance right now. It's what there is the next uh, headwind that they're going to bump into. But very nice uh, so far in terms of uh, in terms of the look. It turns out that. Uh, uh, really, the overall markets as a whole uh, are still are still okay, volatile, yes, but uh, trying to rally today, yesterday, and today, uh, and to close out the week uh, for an up week. Uh, it turns out that um, small and mid caps are still the place to be right now. We um, we close out our fund trades. We kind of we kind of share a couple of those with you that we do for fun along the way. Uh, uh, Schlumberger, we closed out for just in the high 11s, just shy of 12% uh, for the week. Schwab was flat, uh, as it turns out, uh, because of all of this uh, action. And then uh, CSX Transport actually went from a dog to a winner. So we ended up with about 4% on that. We closed out the rest of them this week. So all of those are flat now because of the, um, uh, of the market volatility. We'll find some new places. There's always a bull market somewhere. Okay, we'll find some new places. Uh, 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 going forward, okay, and um, obviously uh, in terms of commodities, energy was well. well. Uh, Bitcoin uh, did a real deep dive uh, below uh, 35,000 and it actually uh, it came back up uh, to uh, flirt with the 40,000 mark again. So interesting uh, developments in crypto. Do these market down moves keep you up at night? Does it give you concern? Does it give you anxiety about the, uh, the long-term uh, viability of your retirement savings? If it does, you need to reach out and contact us, okay? You need to speak to us because we have solutions. We have ways to cure that, um, that uh, actual impact upon your market um, or the stock market uh, uh, portfolios to the point that you're not concerned. Actually, you enjoy the volatility because we've protected the, the, the major lifestyle components of your portfolio going into retirement. And then that leaves you with the ability to take more risk and enjoy the drama, as it were, when the markets do roil up like this. Because when you have volatility, uh, it, it's like an old adage there. It, it, Chaos creates opportunity, okay? There are market opportunities that are presenting themselves uh, in a lot of different places right now. And so I'm not saying, I'm not calling a bottom right now. The trends are all down, okay? But there are, it's spotty. There are, there are market opportunities in energy. Uh, uh, healthcare uh, came back uh, this month, and, and that is a, an, an optimal place to be. Uh, as, as, as well as uh, materials and other you know, areas of the construction uh, industry, uh, there are a lot of opportunities out there to look at. And so if you have the, the major components of your retirement plan bolstering you so that you have a solid foundation moving forward, you can uh, actually uh, enjoy the greater, because we've, we've had now the ability to take a full amount of risk and what monies that we do have left in the markets. Interesting development, okay, and watch this because this, this impacts your safe money moves uh, also, okay, and your returns will probably get better here as, long, as well as increased payout rates going forward. Come back to that in just a second uh, in, in terms of bond substitutes, but it was interesting to note that with the fear overseas this week, Although last week the fear money ran in, foreign money ran in and bought down the, the, the yields on the U.S. 10-year and the 2-year, 
all right those have remained high okay so we close out this week and yesterday even though the uh, wednesday night and thursday morning the futures market were really going down that did not impact the 10-year uh, U.S. 10-year, and it did not impact the two-year. Those have stayed high yields up in the high 190s and, and, and above 2% uh, a couple of, uh, at a couple of times uh, the, during this week, okay? The spread between the 2 and 10 is only 40 basis points. So we have a continued flattened yield curve. I still argue that that is not recessionary at this point because it's being manipulated by the Fed. We'll see how that changes as the year progresses point is, is that there wasn't that fear running into the bond markets. Where did the money go? Right now it went into, uh, looks like it went into small and mid caps. The economy's strong, yet inflation numbers keep coming back. Very scary. This morning the, uh, the consumer spending, which is one of the Fed's uh, number one headline uh, inflation tags that they, that they gear off of, went up higher than it's been since 1983. Okay, so yes, we're probably going to have rate increases because of Russia and Ukraine, no, probably not going to have the dramatic rate increases that we were, and you still have Fed manipulation of the markets on the, on the long end, okay? Now, to finish a thought, right now, we have one of our favorite carriers, okay? If you're looking for bond substitutes, if you're looking for something that will be a safe money alternative, where you don't have any downside risk, to allow you later on to take more risk with your stock market uh, uh, portfolio of what's exposed to risk, we have a carrier that is running a 35% bonus. That means if you come in with 100,000, that immediately turns into 135,000, okay? If you come in with a million, that turns in with a million, 350,000, we have to do some special gymnastics to get you in. But you get the point. I'm just doing easy math here, okay? So that 35% bonus, it just came in on February the 22nd. That will go away in just a few weeks, okay? Just a few weeks. This is a great opportunity for many of you to reposition your portfolios, come in, and let us design a strategic plan. We'll turn this into a solid uh, um, position for you going forward, and... As, a, as an accumulation play and as an income play down the road, okay? Uh, so a bond substitute for that chunk of your, of your uh, portfolio that, was, uh, that you want to remove from the, the risks of the stock and bond markets, and then that will allow you, because of safe money growth, no risk of, no downside risk at all in growth or uh, gains or principal, and that allows you, again, I've said it multiple times, to take more risk in the markets that you want to be risky in, okay? We've got some great opportunities coming up next uh, month as the new month begins. We've got new structured opportunities We we'll also have buffered downside risk. Give us a call. Reach out to it. We love working with you. We love helping you because we love what we do. We love helping people, okay? And you'll, uh, you'll sleep better for it at night, too. All right. Until next time, stay happy because we know that that's the key to a long life. All right? See ya.